ego, miedo y dinero. ¿Cómo se encendió la mecha de la inteligencia artificial? Las personas que más temían los riesgos de la inteligencia artificial decidieron ser quienes la construyeran. Luego, la desconfianza alimentó una competencia en espiral. Ego, fear and money, how the AI fuse was lit. The people who were most afraid of the risks of artificial intelligence decided they should be the ones to build it. Then distrust fueled a spiraling competition. Elon Musk celebrated his 44th birthday in July 2015 at a three-day party thrown by his wife at a California wine country resort dotted with cabins. It was family and friends only, with children racing around the upscale property in Napa Valley. This was years before Twitter became X and Tesla had a profitable year. Larry Page, a party guest, was still the chief executive of Google, and artificial intelligence had pierced the public consciousness only a few years before, when it was used to identify cats on YouTube. AI was the big topic of conversation when Mr. Musk and Mr. Page sat down near a fire pit after dinner the first night. The two billionaires had been friends for more than a decade, and Mr. Musk sometimes joked that he occasionally crashed on Mr. Page's sofa after a night playing video games. But the tone that clear night soon turned contentious as the two debated whether artificial intelligence would ultimately elevate humanity or destroy it. As the discussion stretched into the chilly hours, it grew intense, and some of the more than 30 partiers gathered closer to listen. Mr. Page described his vision of a digital utopia in a whisper. Humans would eventually merge with artificially intelligent machines, he said. If that happens, Mr. Musk said, we're doomed. The machines will destroy humanity. With a rasp of frustration, Mr. Page insisted his utopia should be pursued. Finally, he called Mr. Musk a speciest, a person who favors humans over the digital life forms of the future. That insult, Mr. Musk said later, was the last straw. Many in the crowd seemed gobsmacked, if amused, as they dispersed for the night and considered it just another one of those esoteric debates that often break out at Silicon Valley parties. But eight years later, the argument between the two men seems prescient. The question of whether artificial intelligence will elevate the world or destroy it has framed an ongoing debate among Silicon Valley founders and regulators about whether the technology should be controlled or set free. That debate has pitted some of the world's richest men against one another. Mr. Musk, Mr. Page, Mark Zuckerberg, Peter Thiel, Satya Nadella, and Sam Altman. All have fought for a piece of the business, which one day could be worth trillions of dollars, and the power to shape it. At the heart of this competition is a brain-stretching paradox. The people who say they are most worried about AI are among the most determined to create it and enjoy its riches. They have justified their ambition with their strong belief that they alone can keep AI from endangering Earth. Mr. Musk and Mr. Page stopped speaking after the party. Weeks later, Mr. Musk dined with Mr. Altman and several researchers in a private room at the Roseland Hotel in Menlo Park, California a favored deal-making spot close to the venture capital offices of Camille Rose. That dinner led to the creation of a startup called OpenAI later in the year. Backed by hundreds of millions of dollars from Mr. Musk and other funders, the lab promised to protect the world from Mr. Page's vision. OpenAI's ChatGPT chatbot transformed the tech industry, revealing AI's risks and potential. Valued at over $80 billion, OpenAI's latest funding round didn't include Mr. Musk and Mr. Altman's partnership, and they've since ceased communication. There is disagreement, mistrust, egos, Mr. Altman said. The closer people are to being pointed in the same direction, the more contentious the disagreements are. You see this in sex and religious orders. There are bitter fights between the closest people. That infighting came to OpenAI's boardroom. Rebel board members tried to force out Mr. Altman because they could no longer trust him to build AI that would benefit humanity. 
over five chaotic days, OpenAI looked as if it were going to fall apart until the board backed down. The drama inside OpenAI gave the world its first glimpse of the bitter feuds among those who will determine the future of AI. But years before OpenAI's near meltdown, there was a little publicized but ferocious competition in Silicon Valley for control of the technology that is now quickly reshaping the world, from how children are taught to how wars are fought. The New York Times spoke with more than 80 executives, scientists, and entrepreneurs, including two people who attended Mr. Musk's birthday party in 2015, to tell that story of ambition, fear, and money.